Hey, how's everybody doing today? It's Backwoods Billy coming to you from the beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore here in the backwoods of the Delmarva Eastern Shore. Uh, my wife and I, as you know, are building a custom house. If you watch the reviews and in doing so, we decided to take our 32-foot travel trailer and in my infinite cheap wisdom, live on site. But anyway, um, love it here. We just saw a bald eagle not too long ago, again, and it's building a nest down the other side. I guess it didn't like me coming in and out of the trailer. The state trailer. bird keeps biting me. Um, what's that? The state bird keeps biting me. Oh yeah, our state birds, the Delmarva birds, the Delmarva birds are going to keep biting my wife. They're uh, mosquitoes that have uh, actual numbers on their fin. Anyway, um, this here is my Mossy Oak Lifetime Warranty Beer Opener. <laughs> and out here in the backwoods, you're in the deer that came out of the woods and tried to come after it's rogue. You have to go, you have to get out his eyes out with a bottle opener. But um, I like this. It feels good in the hand. I'm a big fan of camouflage. Anyway, I don't have my zero proof orange hunting suit, zero proof slash waterproof hunting suit on today because it is a little warmer today. We got up into uh, 58 degrees. We had freaky weather down in the teens, zero, snow, hurricane, tornadoes, uh, back to being warm again. We have uh, a ton of daffodils that are blooming. Anyway, or getting ready to bloom, I should say blooming. This is a beer that just came out in the, um, towards the end of 2015. It is Yingling. Um, IPL, Indian Pale Lager. Let me tell you something. A lot of people don't know this. To brew a lager like an Indian Pale Ale is extremely difficult. Anybody out there that home brews know what I'm talking. First of all, to brew a lager, you have to control the temperature. And the old times we just do it in caves and what have you. To, but it's going to be a constant temperature to be cold. And lager comes from the, the German word meaning to store. And it's stored for a very long time. Now, what happens when you store something for a long time and you hop it? It's not as hoppy. Now, that's not saying it's as good or not as good, um, but it's stored for months if they do it correctly, a lager. Um, the hoppiness mellows a little bit. So to get the same type of effect with an IPA, with an IPL, is a little bit difficult. As a matter of fact, if you look at, um, there's a book, I believe it's called, what is it, The Brewer's Apprentice? Anybody's in the home, brewing to get it. It's pretty interesting. Um, anyway, it talks about how it would be almost impossible to brew it. Actually, somebody did it. Um, an Indian Pale Lager. Now, Yingling is the oldest brewery in the United States, 1829, I believe. Uh, this beer, I believe, is 5.2% alcohol by volume. Um, you know, somewhere between 4.5 and 5.0 is typical of most beers, especially lagers, so it's within that category. Uh, Yingling is still family owned, um, and they use good ingredients. Now, the thing that I'm going to say about you know, I got a couple things I'd like for them to change. I reviewed some of their beers in the past. Um, twist off caps. Do not like twist off caps. So I don't care if you get a Kristoff cap, Backwoods Billy's going to use a bottle opener. That's all. I just hate those things. They, what happens with Kristoff cap is anybody that knows anything about beer will tell you. The fact is it lets oxygen in. And oxygen creates a degradation to the beer quicker and easier. Fact. So a regular bottle cap is better. The best thing tr really truly is a can because a can will actually hold the freshness in the best. No light transition whatsoever. And the oxygen will eventually penetrate a can, but it's a decade down the road. Anyway. Um, this right here is a, is a good beer. I've had a few of these. Um, they typically run, I think, like six to eight dollars a case, depending on the case, the case well. uh, six pack and where you buy them. I bought it by the case. Um, got a little better price than that. But um, again, as a twist off, I'm not a twist off fan. I, I don't like twist offs. Just hate them. Uh, another thing I don't like about you, I'll show this about them to give them a, if they're listening. There is no percentage of alcohol on your bottle. There is no percentage on your cases, no percentage of alcohol on your six pack. There is no IBUs even on your website. So it would be interesting if that was a, you know, I wanted to say what the IBUs was. And if I had a guess on this, I would kind of peg it around 40. That's just a stab at what I think it is. Um, it's hard to say because to, to guess it, um, it, you know, I could have one beer, uh, one style, it could be 65 IBUs, and I have another beer, it could be 30 IBUs, and it'd be far bitter than the one that was 65 just because of the style of the beer. But uh, again, a top fermenting yeast is an ale, a bottom fermenting yeast is a lager. And as you can see with this, I'll hold this up, this is a golden color, more to the darker side of gold. And being a lager, you're going to see almost like champagne style bubbles. The head retention is excellent with this beer. You get an, an interesting inch, inch and a quarter head, and very easy pull with this. Then try to create a head. And by the way, if I want more head on a beer, I can just hold the angle of the beer bottle higher or turn it quicker. Um, the glass I chose for this is an Indian Pale Ale style glass. It's just we meant for that style because it has a bigger bottom, and it narrows like a woman's waist, and it gets a little bit 
uh, wider, but not anywhere near at the bottom. It allows you to better whip. Now, with this, um, you get some of the malt character, but you get a lot of the, the hops aroma from this, the citrus, uh, floral, and a lot of earth tones to this. So, I have seen, I don't see reviews on a lot of beers that I do reviews on, but I've seen reviews on this when it came out and people were saying that the aroma was very citrusy. It's not really citrusy. That's like one beer uh, brewed by Flying Dog, Dead Rise. People say, oh, it's salty, it's this. You never had the freaking beer, there's no salt in it yet, Jack. Anyway, but they worked very hard for me to develop that beer, and it has zero salt in it. So people that don't have, never had the beer, make the salt decide to write a review because they're jackasses. But anyway, this right here is... Gee, tell us what you really think. I'm sorry, did I, did I, did I actually <laughs> say that? Well, of course. This right here is a very simple technique of just swallowing the glass, or you can go back and forth. And what it's going to do is pick my head up, and it'll allow me to get a better whiff of the aroma. Now, I, if I inhale deeply, I pick up a little citrus nose to it, and it's not heavy. Same here. Uh, you'll see those two, well, I don't, I don't see that. But. You pick a little of the malt character in this up um, and you pick a little um, I would say uh, kind of like a cracker mealish quality to it slight bready somewhere between the two of those and by that I mean if you would love to eat a cracker versus bread that type of thing you get like a deli or thing more in that type of uh, thing and then you um, slight bit of sweet very little and then you move right to the bittering and the bittering is well balanced with this beer I mean I'm very impressed with this First of all, for anybody to do a lager and pull it off, I, I'm going to two thumbs up right to the fact that you did this and a lot of these so-called beer geeks that they can't be done. <laughs> now, some of your thumbs. Because it was done, son. Uh, and it was done well. Uh, again, very good quality. This is a typical color of an Indian Pale Ale. I did one of OC Brewery's beer, and it was darker than this. Um, and it was their lager or ale? Could you it was say an lager? ale. Um, but this is the whole idea of the style of this is it's going after Indian Pale Ale being a lager. Now here's what I'm going to tell you: a lager will keep longer than an ale. Um, that's step one. So if you wanted to buy this in advance, um, you're not going to do degradation with it as quickly as you would an ale. Now that aside, I see beer geeks online. That swear they tasted a beer that was like a week old or two weeks old. It was the best tasting IPA ever. And at five weeks, the same beer geek says, and I quote, it has lost its hoppy freshness. It no longer has a hop. But what the hell are you talking about? Indian Pale Ales were designed to travel from England to the colonies and to, I should say, when I say colonies, the Indian to India. Um, and basically, it was a 90-day journey. And then they stored it and they drank it. So... There should be, you should understand the style and what his intention was. It was designed to mellow a little bit. So you don't necessarily want that extreme hoppiness. And this does not have, um, I would say if you had to compare this, um, it's up there with a lot of the double IPAs. I would put this in the double IPA category, not just an IPA. Um, so if you somebody likes a hoppy beer, this beer, a good thing about when you get into loggers and you get, they're good, well, a lot of refusing people always drank them that way, but um, an IPA, or this, in this case an IPL, is going to work better with the hoppies to cut through a lot of the fat. So if you're having like a fatty food, like a steak, like a ribeye, for example, uh, there's more fat on it. So the idea of this is it would pair very well, food pairing, with, uh, for example, uh, uh, a ribeye steak, um, a T-bone steak. It would pair very well um, with somebody having ribs. Um, Southern food, stuff like that. There's a lot of foods that would pair well. It's not limited to one thing. You could even do seafood. Although, in my opinion, if you're having spicy seafood or Mexican, I would go the, go a different route than doing the food pairing. Because sweet and hot go together, and I would go with a sweeter beer. That's an opinion. Um, this beer is not expensive. Uh, again, it's 5 to $7 a six-pack. Rock and roll, baby, because you pulled this off. Cheers to Yingling. My only complaint is the twist off cap, no IBUs, and I had to look your alcohol by volume up. But it's a backwoods Billy. Two thumbs up, because they nailed it, and they let the beer yeast know. Rock and roll!